so right pressure p1 equal to 10 bar dry and saturated so x1 equals to 1 what is the back pressure p3 1.5 bar if it is dry and saturated is the value of n is 1.135 from this can we calculate pressure p2 by p1 equal to 2 upon n plus the power n upon n minus 1 this ratio is fixed is it 0.577 so if you put p1 equal to 10 bar is p2 equals to 5.7 so we will approximate to 5.8 bar is it a loss is 10 percent loss is 10 percent means efficiency is what 90 percent and is the loss it takes place in divergent only loss takes place in divergent only means convergent is what smooth this one is hs diagram we have three pressure line first is 10 bar second is 5.8 bar third is 1.5 bar this one is ideal process the loss so this one is 3 dash 1 to 2 is ideal in pressure is it 10 bar so see here this line this is 10 bar line 10 bar and this one is dry and saturated line 100 percent this is your point number one mark your point number one check enthalpy at this point okay check do you have five bar line here five bar line then there are five bar and ten bar there are five lines so your 5.8 is very close to the first line do you have five bar line this one is 5 bar line, this one is 10 bar line, between 5 bar and 10 bar there are 5 lines, means each line represents 6, 7, 8, 9, 5.8 is very close to 6, so very first thing you draw vertical through this line, vertical through point number 1, 5.8 is very close to this, now record this point. I will write approximately 2670. What is the back pressure? Is the back pressure is 1.5? Back pressure is 1.5. So record 1.5. 1.5 is here. So this line. 1.5 key line. 1.5 line is this. Vertical line if it is not intersecting. So look at this point. What is the corresponding enthalpy at this point? What is the value recorded via H1? Is it 2450? Nozzle efficiency equals to H1 minus H3 dash upon H1 minus H3. Confirm in the problem that the inlet velocity is negligible. Inlet velocity is negligible. What is V3 for ideal case? You have to compare two values, one with the ideal, one with the friction. Under root of two times H1 minus H3. Multiply. H1 to meter per second. Okay. Write actual velocity V3 dash under root of two times H1 minus multiplied by 1000 for kilojoules you are asked to find out first final velocity that is the first answer so this one is answer 1 second one you have to find out percent reduction in final velocity that equals to v3 dash minus v3 upon v3 equals to 770 minus 812 upon 812 multiplied by 100 answer is minus the problem
the throat diameter of a convergent divergent nozzle is what 12 mm so write d2 the steam at 10 bar p1 equals to 10 bar corresponding condition is 225 rated then n equals to what 1.3 enters the nozzle and is discharged discharge is back pressure 1.5 bar all pressure are always absolute you want to calculate m dot mass flow rate assuming that the loss section only what is the nozzle efficiency given to you 90 percent so p2 is approximated as 5.4 bar for calculation purpose we will take it 5.5 bar to locate on molier diagram if you are available with 5.4 we'll go for 5.4 If the flow in a convergent is a smooth, so 1 to 2 will be like this. What is the friction is occurring? So this one is 3 dash. This is Molière diagram. Molière. This one is 10 bar line. Now this temperature is 200. Can you see 200? Can you see 2 to 50? Two lines we have got, one is 200, one is 250. This one is 200 line. This one is 250 line. This one is 10 bar line. Is your point between 200 and 225? So approximately draw this 225. Look at your point 1. Tell me is very close to 2900. We will make it 2890. One, you draw a vertical line first. Draw approximately 5.5 line. Let cut intersect vertical line. Take your enthalpy equal to what? 2780. Look at your 1.5 bar line. See your 1.5 here. This is your point number 3. Look at your enthalpy at point number 3. It is somewhat very close to 24, sorry, 2540. This time we will not going to calculate 3 dash. Remember, we will be prepare the solution, professional solution. What I want, m dot. Can I calculate m dot equals multiplied by v2, multiplied by small v2. So I need to calculate only v2. And specific volume. Now go back to the Molière diagram first. The point number two is it superheat region? Point number two is it superheat region? Back to figure Molière diagram. Is point number two is superheat region? And is this temperature is approximately equals to? See the temperature line. This temperature line is what? 150. This is 150. This one is 100. So I think this is very close to 1. Check this line. Is it more than 150? So let guess this value equals to what? So this step here is 160. So your dome shape will be like this. Dome shape will be like this. Is 3 is inside the set 2. P2 equals to 5.4. T2 equals to T sub 160. This is superheated. So, what is V2? V2 is Vg into T sub. Divide by T sach. Temperature is Kelvin. So plus 273. Plus 273. At 5.4 bar. Open your steam table. C 5.4. Substitute this value. And find out V2 first. So this value is T sach. 
and this value equals to what? We only two value at 5.4. So VG is 0.348 and TSH is 154.8. From this calculate V2. V2 equals to under root of two times H1 minus H2 multiplied by 1000 equals to next is M dot put this value back and find out M dot area is pi by 4 diameter is 12 velocity is 509 divided by specific column is 0 0.3535